Hey, this is Scott Fluffy Bonds out here today with the Canon 28 to 90 millimeter EF lens version 3 f4 to 5.6. Also with the Viltrax Speed Booster that's 0.71x and the Canon ESM50. The software has a nice range to it, 28 to 90. When you consider the Speed Booster, things are a little skewed, but for the better actually because you get wider. So speed booster adjusts the settings that are sent to the camera. So in this case, when you're at 28 millimeters, you're getting f2.8. You go to 90 millimeters, you get f4. So it is nice to have that extra stop of light or so with the speed booster. And after looking at the photos from the previous photo outing, I'm pretty happy they look nice. I have the camera set around 50 to 70 millimeters. I think it can get as close as possible with sub small subjects like this. Even considering the speed booster, I can't get too close with this lens. That's definitely the major drawback of it. Old kit lenses, you get the benefit of a cheap lens that works pretty good. Gives you some range, but you do have some drawbacks. It's nice to use, it works well, it's not super heavy, and you don't mind adapting. Try an old kit lens. If you do have the speed booster, that's even better. And I'm talking old film era kit lenses, full frame kit lenses, not the APS-C ones, which you can get those too, but you're not gonna get any benefit from a speed booster, obviously. It's, it's not even gonna work. Although it could be early digital, I'm honestly not sure. Another drawback of this lens, the front element does rotate when you focus. So if you do use a polarizer or something similar like that, you need to keep that in mind because it will shift. And quickly go through the zoom range here so you can get an idea of what it looks like with a speed booster. One negative of this Filtrex Speed Booster is that it pulls some of the battery charge down as you just leave it sitting, which is not great. Obviously, if you're gonna use it in a professional situation, you really need to keep that in mind. Interesting stuff going on here. See how much range we've got. Probably just enough. This is an interesting time to do photography because a lot of the plants are growing and get some green and a little bit more color to everything, but also get some cold. So I think it snowed in the like early morning. But we can see, oh, my battery's almost gone. What is going on? I like how that tree's coming along this way. That one's coming along that way. We will focus in between them. The autofocus system isn't amazing on this setup, but it works. It's not super loud, you can hear it. Well, only sometimes really, but you can see that the whole thing is moving.
think at the wider end, you want to do a more landscape style photos. It doesn't look amazing. I do think this lens shines more in a little closer situations. Having that bit of range is nice to crop out some of the more distracting elements to the frame. One thing I can tell with aperture priority and this setup is that the camera tends to use shutter speeds a little lower than I would personally in manual focus. So if it's at 90 millimeters on here, it looks like a hundredth of a second, depending on if there's enough light. Of course it uses faster shutter speeds if it can, like that darker situation. It was using a hundredth of a second, which isn't ideal. Really nice patch of yellow flowers there. Probably not the best spot to have a picnic. So many picnic tables that get destroyed. I don't get what the deal is with that. I'm thinking maybe people move them closer to the water and then no one takes them back. Almost fall colors. It doesn't make any sense. Overall, a fun lens to use, lower cost. It's pretty lightweight because it's plasticky, old film mirror kit lens. It is full frame capable, so I do have the benefit of using it with the speed booster, nice plus. I have seen photos from the previous failed photo shoot or photo outing, photo walk, whatever you wanna call it, with the speed booster, and they look pretty nice. There were some that were very detailed. There were some that weren't so much and the background blur isn't amazing. I think the autofocus might have been a little quirky here and there, or I was just getting too close because I'm used to getting pretty close sometimes with these type of photos, and this lens doesn't focus very close. Just things to keep in mind. Fun lens, 28 to 90 millimeters, f4 to 5.6 normally, with uh, the version three of that Canon lens. But yeah, I'm Scott for Vibons. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and the applause feature. All that helps out a lot. See you.